Hey everybody, welcome to our weekend check-in video for WSTS 47 Intro to LGBTQ Studies for Saturday, August 13th. As I always do in these weekend videos, I'm just going to go over a few items, reminders, clarifications, anything I think you need to know to be successful in the course that I think might help you out. So keep these short and sweet. So let's go ahead and get started here. First up, it was uh, really great to see uh, some live folks. I have two other courses, but they're online. So it's nice to have some real interaction with some folks, especially with this course there. So I was pleased to see you and thank you for coming to class. And uh, it's going to be a great class, I can tell. Uh, Next up here is, uh, don't forget, just a reminder that read the syllabus carefully, cover to cover, and if you still have any questions about it, please don't be shy and bring that up in class so I can answer it and everybody else can get the benefit of that answer too. So don't hesitate to bring that up there. And uh, also don't forget to just navigate around on the Canvas course page if you've got any questions about it. Uh, please let me know and ask me in class especially because I would be, again, glad if everybody else could see the answer there too. Uh, next up here, a reminder, as I said in class on Thursday, you have your uh, first quiz on Chapter 1, which you're going to take in your small group, which you formed at the end of class uh, Thursday there. So do make sure you prepare for that. There is a homework item you'll find there in the homework module on our Canvas course page. Just open it up there. You'll see it says Homework Section 1. That covers the first four chapters of our course. There is a dedicated file there just for chapter one you'll find. And again, you do not need to turn in your answers to any of those homework questions per announcement I posted earlier this week and mentioned in class as well this week. Uh, but make sure you might want to like jot down some answers on scrap paper. Just write something out there to those answers. Because when you take your quiz in your small group, those answers might come in handy. And uh, you are allowed to use your books and your notes and each other. You know, put your heads together and come up with some consensus to see what the answer is so you'll work more efficiently and get more things correct on your quizzes if you've got everything with you as far as the information you need. So feel free to uh, bring that to class with you on uh, Tuesday. And uh, don't forget to bring that little uh, quiz strip Scantron, the 815E. That's the one that's got 15 questions on one side there. You'll need that to... Uh, answer the uh, quiz there and you're going to submit each each of you are going to submit a quiz strip individually not as a group okay um, the game plan for next week on Tuesday we're going to finish the last part there the last half of chapter one and also uh, when we uh, come back again on Thursday uh, we're going to go ahead and work on the first half of chapter two and so we're going to have some time to talk about a few things there, too, from, from that chapter one. There are so interesting things there. So uh, don't forget you've got lecture outlines there. You'll find in the lecture outlines module on our Canvas course page. So you can print those out, take notes on them. You can modify them. You can edit. You can put them on your device. Whatever you want to do, it's there to help you take notes. So I would recommend uh, using those. It'll just make your life easier to organize the course lectures and everything. Otherwise, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say for this uh, weekend video. If any of you need anything, in the meantime, before we meet again next week, feel free to email on Canvas and I'll be uh, glad to get back to you and address your concerns. Otherwise, I'll see you in class on Tuesday and I hope you're uh, having a, a good weekend. So uh, I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye.